In this video, revealing the top three ways to make passive income with Amazon FBA and how complete beginners earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More at that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasilo, welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days with this new method. Check it out now. So one of the reasons why I was like curious and interested in Amazon FBA was because I just wanted more freedom in my life, right? And I didn't have the confidence or the skill set to like show my face on camera, to you know create content that no one is ever going to read or see, or even like for example, just like learn marketing skills or sales skills because I like quite frankly before I started making money online I was in an occupation that I did not enjoy doing things that I did not like that did not light my soul on fire right and of course Amazon is like a really good opportunity because guess what you can literally rank a product on Amazon Amazon does a shipping Amazon does a customer service Amazon does all of that hard work and yet they have millions of people searching for things on Amazon every single day right and you don't literally get paid. That's where the passive income comes from. Um, and I got so curious on learning about all the different models on Amazon because I thought, okay, if I could just leverage Amazon, then I could also start winning more freedom as well as some peace of mind. But what not a lot of people understand is Amazon is like a video game. And there's three levels to making money with Amazon. And what people kind of do wrong is they do the hardest, most riskiest, most obvious way, which most people know exactly what that is. It's just, buying products from China, shipping them over to Amazon and trying to rank for the keywords, but then they fail because they don't have that much experience, nor do they not have the expertise to actually go ahead and compete against people that have been doing this for years with very deep pockets and endless amount of money, right? Like you'd be very surprised. Like I meet a lot of people here in Bali, Indonesia where I'm at. A lot of these people, like for example, you know, like this girl that's 11 years old to turn on $30 million or this guy that makes a million dollars from a profit or even like a lot of Amazon FBA sellers that I was just talking to when I went on a double date a couple of weeks ago with my girlfriend and like two other people, they literally, there was like this guy who was literally making money with Amazon that had so much deep pockets to go ahead and for example, beat the small guy with no experience that's very hard to actually go against them. But like I said, that's maybe level three to make money with Amazon. There's even easier, less competitive ways to make passive income with Amazon with no experience. And that's remember breaking this down, right? Because when you break it down, the goal isn't actually the inventory and actually investing your own money. The goal is ranking on Amazon search engine. Same way how like for example, people would want a McDonald's in front of a piece of real estate where there's a lot of traffic because the more traffic in terms of cars, the more passive income this McDonald's will make. It's the exact same thing with these keywords. The only problem with all of these things are these are like digital real estate, but some of them are a little bit like too competitive, right? Like if I just type in this, this is like getting prime real estate in New York or Los Angeles because you can see the top reviews are literally 18,000 reviews. Right, and you can see this one, 950 reviews are like the low end and it's literally on the first page. So you're not gonna make passive income with this because it's a really big uphill battle. But the goal then to make passive income is if I can rank for a keyword that has low competition and you literally get somebody else to spend money on in the inventory so you literally ha virtually have no risk whatsoever. So how are people actually doing this? Well, check this stuff out. If I type in the word Beagle Gifts for women, that's a piece of real estate that people are searching for because Amazon is essentially telling me that this is literally what people are searching for. If I get literally click on that, there's literally a bunch of products where people do invest in inventory, right, to go ahead and sell, but things like, for example, this t-shirt, there's people selling this for free without spending a single dime on the t-shirt, nor do they have to go ahead and ship or do any of the customer service or handling, right? How this essentially works is when someone buys this, literally on Amazon's dime, they'll print the design on the, their t-shirt, which is their inventory that they spend money on, they ship it directly to the customer and you get paid passive income from that through like fulfillment by Amazon without you spending a single dollar, right? So check this out, it's called Merch dot amazon.com and you can sell your designs as Amazon products reaching millions of customers worldwide with no upfront investment or cost to you meaning it's free and it doesn't matter if you're a graphic designer or if you do have no skills in Photoshop or creative skills you could do this with zero creative work whatsoever now how I did print on demand back in the day in the elephant niche and in the Jesus niche back when I was doing like good numbers in print on demand was I remember going to, for example, Pinterest, because I realized I'm not gonna be a really good designer, nor do I have much ideas. So I might as well model what are already popular ideas. And I remember doing this even in the cat industry, and I was like, okay, let me just type in the word cat t-shirt. I found all of these cat t-shirts that kind of like caught my eye and my attention that did not yet exist 
when I would type in the word here. Because remember, I wanna go for the things that have low competition. Like this one only has eight reviews. If I type in the word like cat t-shirt, woman funny, on the first page, you know, there's only seven reviews, 75 reviews. I wanna find a design that does not yet exist on the first page of a search term. This one only has two reviews. It's on the first page, so it's like virtually no risk, right? And low competition. And if I could rank for some of these with a better design, I could essentially make passive income because let Amazon does all the hard work with their cost without me spending a single dollar, right? So what I did is I would literally like screenshot a lot of the ones that like caught my eye. And then I would go to Upwork, type in the word graphic design, and then I would come in and search for location Philippines because you could get really affordable work uh, in that country and like it's my like that's where my family and ancestry is from. And if I do hourly, hourly rate ten dollars an hour and below, you could see that there's people like this Ivy girl that literally charges only six dollars an hour with a hundred percent job success. Now, when I found these people from Upwork, I got it to the point where it was like two dollars a design. Many of which, some of these designs can make you a hundred dollars a month in passive income. And you got to think about it. Like other people choose real estate for passive income, but they need ten properties to maybe cash flow two hundred dollars a month each for two grand a month in cash flow that you get paid, right? Or you could just get, you know, designs on, for example, you know, Amazon and Merchant of Amazon. You know, real estate, you need to go ahead and borrow money from the bank. Here, you just need to get a graphic designer to go ahead and create these simple designs for you on Merchant of Amazon.com and rank for that. So which one seems easier for passive income? Does that make sense? And like I said, Amazon does all of the hard work. You just gotta go ahead and create the designs that do not yet exist on Amazon. Finding low competition keywords, like anything that pops up in here. Does that make sense? Now the second way to make passive income with Amazon and Amazon FBA is understanding that you don't necessarily have to do physical products. You could also do digital products. Because remember, Amazon is a search engine, and if I type in the word free weight loss, you could see that people are also searching for free weight loss book. And instead of fulfillment by Amazon in terms of physical, you could also do fulfillment by digital. So you're probably wondering, how are these people making money then for free fulfilled by Amazon, these eBooks, but it's free. Well, what a lot of these people are doing is normally these 13 fat blasting hacks for rapid weight loss, this would normally be a blog article that people would rank for Google. But as people have been doing this for decades, ranking on Google, the competition to rank for these keywords are very, very high. So what people are doing is they're taking the same blog post that they would normally rank for Google, and they're just creating a blog article on it, but on Amazon. And they're ranking it as if it was an eBook, and you could see that people are literally doing this for free with kdp.amazon.com. You could self-publish eBooks for free, reaching millions of readers on Amazon. So you're probably wondering, okay, how does this actually make money if it was free? If it's literally free, how are people making money? Well, what they're doing is when people are going to the blog post, like if I just type in, for example, best diet pills for women, right? When people go ahead and go to a traditional, for example, blog article, right? Someone ranks for this on like, on like Google or whatever, but when people go ahead and click on this for like this specific you know, thing or this specific things, a lot of these things are affiliate links where this blog article, even though this person doesn't necessarily have the product themselves, they'll still get commissioned because you know, they're recommending it. So what a lot of these people are doing is they're turning these into eBooks, right? Where they're signing up for ClickBank for free and then recommending ClickBank products because you could essentially make money with ClickBank like huge commissions. Like check this out. Like here's a supplement that's in weight loss space, dietary supplements, where you don't have to do the shipping, you don't have to do the customer service, you don't have to do any of that. 1,200 people have made money with this one product in the past 30 days, and the commissions is $147. And that's just with one product. There's literally hundreds of different niches that you could see from like education, to games, to green products, health and fitness, to languages, to parenting and family, to self-help, that you could go ahead and recommend on ClickBank for free, right? And like I said, you literally get fulfilled by Amazon with the digital format of kdp.amazon.com, and then you could recommend other people's inventory but still get paid a lot, right? Now the reason why I like ClickBank is it's literally one of the ways that I made in passive income that got me from zero to eight grand in a single month, where you could see that it literally did without my own product, without my own service, without me investing a single dollar in inventory. And that's why I love ClickBank. And once you start doing this over and over again, you start getting really good at ranking for these keywords on Amazon. Amazon, then you could go to the ultimate way, which is then building your own brand on Amazon, which the third way would be, you know, uh, literally getting your own products in bulk, um, putting your own logo on it, and then ranking it because now you've learned exactly how to do it for multiple different ways. And the reason why this is so lucrative is when I meet the people here in Bali, right, they've made the most money because then they built a brand in which they could sell to somebody else 
But I know people that had a million, two million, three million dollar exits selling their brand on Amazon once they started learning that they could rank for these. Because remember, these keywords are pieces of real estate and these reviews that people have, they become very valuable to people that wanna go ahead and buy that. And that's how people make serious money when they get to the third level of Amazon FBA when they're building their own design, their own products and brands around it so that they can sell. But the biggest mistake that beginners with no experience face is to go straight into this when they don't actually build the skill set of trying to rank for things on Amazon first. Right, and these are just the top three ways to make passive income with Amazon. But in fact, there are even faster and easier ways to make passive income online. We literally have complete beginners with no experience whatsoever. People like, for example, Dina, a stay-at-home mom at age 47 years old, go from zero to 30 grand a month in passive income in five to eight weeks with no experience whatsoever. And if you wanna find out what she did as well as hundreds of other people in our community did as well, to go from zero to 30 grand a month in passive income in five to eight weeks, then sign up for this free workshop below as well as check out this video on this podcast right here. Hopefully this helps, love you guys, see you guys later, woo!